Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my miraculous friend, and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I'm so grateful that I get to spend this time with you helping you magnify your miracles. And today we're going to be talking, this is part three in our four-part series on Mother Mary, and we're going to be talking about how to prepare for the upcoming month of miracles, which is one of my favorite times of the year. But before we do that, let's take a few deep breaths together get ourselves grounded and centered, breathing in the energy of expansion, breathing out anything you no longer need, and just allowing yourself to come into this present moment, no matter how you got here or what you're doing, taking a few deep breaths, help us get ready to receive this inspiration today. And knowing that you're going to hear exactly what you need to hear today to help you to magnify your miracles, let's take one more deep breath together in gratitude. We can begin. All right, my friend, well, welcome back. So the month of miracles. Now, if you're someone who has been following me for a while, you'll know that every year, I get very excited in the month of May because the month of May is what Mother Mary has told me is the month of miracles. And I'm recording this in April of 2022. So there's some special things that are going to be happening this year. Um, But even if you're listening to this in a different year, you're still going to be able to know how to prepare for the month of miracles and how to really get the most out of this time. 2022, there happens to be some special things going on. So I'm going to share all of that with you. So May is the month of miracles. And if you are somebody who loves Mother Mary, you've been following her, you know that that month is dedicated to her. Of course, we have Mother's Day that time. We also have the energy of the first apparition of Fatima. Mother Mary appeared in Fatima in uh, Portugal in 1917 towards the end of World War I, and she came there on the 13th of the month for six months, ending in October, with an amazing apparition where the sun was spinning and all kinds of things were happening. So the month of May also has that beautiful energy in it. Of course, we have the birthday of St. Catherine Labore, who brought us the Miraculous Medal. We have St. Padre Pio's birthday happening I think we have the feast day of St. Joan of Arc. There's just a lot of really cool energy in the month of May. But the biggest thing is that we're focusing on Mother Mary's energy for the whole month. It's the the month where we really honor her. And for me personally, it's my birthday month. So for me, it's always a fun time and it's always my favorite time of year. But we also have some things going on on the planet at the same time. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the energy of spring into summer, the summer solstice. So we have from May 1st, which is the halfway point between the equinox and the solstice, from May 1st on to the solstice, we have this amazing increase of light happening. And so the earth herself is actually supporting you in this time of increase in this time of miracles. So I'm going to share with you how I guide my clients, how I guide people who are in the Magnify Your Miracles membership, and how I'm going to be guiding people in the program I've been sharing with you, 
Mother Mary's Healing Activation and why I do this in the month of May. And this year it's going to be May into June. It's going to be building and corresponding with the increase of light and the increase of the sun. So Mother Mary wants me to let you know, first of all, that miracles are available to you every day, all the time. So when I say the month of miracles, I don't want you to think, oh man, it's April, there's no miracles happening, or it's July, I miss the month of miracles. No, it's not about that. Miracles are available to you all the time, all the time. But what Mother Mary says is just like the full moon and the new moon, and just like we have feast days and holidays and holy days, these are focal points for you. The truth is, is the infinite blessings of the universe are available to you all the time, all the time. But that's more than our mind can really comprehend. And, you know, my goal is to live every day as if I'm in the month of miracles every day. But that can be a little bit hard for my mind to understand. So Mother Mary says, when you have a focal point, when you do a spiritual practice like a nine-day novena or a 54-day novena, it gives you a focal point so that you can go, oh, I'm focusing on miracles. And that's what can help you to have that experience in your life more often is you have these focal points. So for myself, I do 54-day novenas, and I'll talk about that at another time throughout the year. And we do them in the membership, the Magnify Your Miracles membership. We do them usually twice a year. One corresponds with the month of miracles. The other one corresponds with leading up to the uh, season of light leading up to the Christmas and holiday season, beginning in November, going into December. Both things having to do with the energy of light. So what you want to do is you want to get really clear about your miracle. What's the miracle that you are going to intend? What's the miracle that you're going to pray for? What's the miracle that you're going to focus on? What are you going to ask for? And then what you do is you pray and you ask every day. And my favorite way to do that is a prayer of thanks because you say thank you when you've already received something. So this is how you combine working with Mother Mary's energy, working with the law of attraction, working with your consciousness. It's how you do it is you say thank you. Thank you for my miracle. Thank you for the miracle in my finances in my health, in my relationship, in my career, with my children, whatever it might be. That's how I recommend that you do that. And every day you have some kind of practice of saying thank you. Now this particular year in 2022, we have the new moon in Taurus happening on April 30th. And the new moon in Taurus is one of the most powerful new moons for manifesting anything on the physical plane. It's beautiful for physical manifesting, new moon in Taurus, new moon in Scorpio, both very powerful for physical manifesting. New moon in Taurus is a beautiful time and it's happening this year on April 30th, which is the day before May 1st, which begins our month of miracles. And in our membership, we're going to be starting our 54 day novena, the miracle novena, which takes us through the month of miracles right up to the solstice. So it's a very powerful time. And this year, that new moon is also an eclipse. Now, I'm not an astrologer. You know, I've shared little bits with you about astrology. My sister is a professional astrologer. But uh, what I know from working with the moon, the moon so heavily influences me. I have a lot of planets in Cancer. Is that eclipses are, they bring unexpected blessings. That's how I call it unexpected blessings. You want to anticipate that. They shine a light on an area of your life and we feel the effects of an eclipse for at least six months. So not only is this new moon happening the day before the month of miracles, but it is encouraging you to dream big. What would you love to manifest? What would you love to really experience in your life? Because think about six months from now, when you're in the month of October or November, what would you like to have experienced or manifested or become? What would that be for you? And let yourself, so I'm I'm recording this now because I want to give you a little bit of time to get ready for this. So on the 30th, I like to write it down in my journal. 
write down what your new moon intention is. And it's a new moon eclipse, which means it's a magnified intention. And I told you last week, right? Mother Mary's the great magnifier. She magnifies our prayers. She magnifies our energy. She magnifies our intentions. What would you love to magnify? Write it down. Put it in a journal. I recommend that you have a journal that's specifically for new moon intentions, for prayers, for blessings, for those kinds of things, so it doesn't get lost in your your day-to-day journal, so that you can keep track of, and you can go, oh yeah, six months ago, I did have this intention, and look what happened. A lot of times what happens, these blessings come, and we forget, and people say, what a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. It's coming from you. It's coming through you. So I recommend that you keep track of it so you can help to expand your consciousness to recognize that these things are happening. Now, the other thing that's going on is from the first until the solstice, every day here in the Northern Hemisphere, the light is getting more and more and more. Now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you will experience this from November until solstice for you. The experience of more and more light, you'll be experiencing it then. For for us, we would be experiencing less light in November, which is a great time to focus on releasing things and making room for the light to be coming. So I'm going to speak to those of you who are in the Northern Hemisphere right now. Every day, there's more and more sunlight. The Earth herself, the cosmos, is dancing with you. This time of year, Mother Mary says, light is the great magnifier. So if you think about places like Alaska or places that have a really short growing season. I have a friend who lives up there and I think she grows her garden from like, is it June to August or it's a, it's really, really short, but her things are huge. The plants that she grows, they grow really, really big. Why? Because the sun is available almost all day long. And the sun, my friends, is also the great magnifier. So anything that you're keeping in your mind during this time, anything that you're praying about during this time will be magnified. Doesn't matter what it is. So Mother Mary always says, be very mindful of what you're listening to and what you're watching and what you're doing during this six-week time because it's under the magnifying glass of, of the sun. More and more light happening from May 1st until June I think this year it's June 21st is when the solstice is happening. So if you're dwelling on your problems, you're going to magnify your problems. If you're dwelling on how awful things are, you can magnify how awful things are. Now, don't get scared because Mother Mary says one positive thought has more power and energy than a thousand negative thoughts. All you have to do is remind yourself. So I like to put sticky notes up around my home or I'll put Uh, index cards on my desk or on my altar with a positive statement on there. And if you read that positive statement, it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And maybe it's something simple like every day things are getting better. You know, it could be something simple like that. But I want you to have something on there that says, thank you for my miracle. Thank you for my miracle. And if every day you let yourself feel the energy, like, oh, thank you for my miracle. Thank you for my miracle. You're going to be magnifying that energy. Now, that positive thought is already more powerful than the worry thoughts, the fear thoughts. So just by putting a little bit of energy onto your thank you for my miracle, whatever your miracle is, you're already putting more energy towards that. You're already allowing the energy of the sun to bless this energy. Now, if you are down on the other hemisphere, you're in Australia, wherever you might be listening to this. How would you use this time? You would still say, thank you for my miracle. But what you're focusing on is the energy of releasing. I'm releasing anything that's in the way. And as the sunlight is getting less and less, that sun is taking away anything that is interfering with you experiencing your miracle. So you can still use it for the month of miracles. You're just going to be using it with a little bit of a different awareness. And instead of you know, focusing on the sun, increasing things, you're going to focus on the sun, releasing you and letting that beautiful darkness wash over you like a blanket and just covering you with the energy of miracles and unconditional love. So imagine my friend, what would it be like if you were to join me 
and Mother Mary's healing energy activation during this time. Imagine what that would be like. So I only offer this once a year. And the reason I'm offering it now is for this very reason. It's because I want to be offering it at a time where everything on the planet is supporting you in the month of miracles. One of the things you're going to be learning about during this beautiful program is, yes, you're going to have the experience of this attunement with Mother Mary. She's going to be showing you how to work with the energy that you already have. You already have healing energy in your body. She's going to be showing you how to direct that energy for your own healing. You put your hand over your own heart chakra. You'll feel the energy coming through your arms and into your hands. Your hands will get activated so that when you put your hands on your own knee or any other part of your body that is you know, having trouble, you'll feel that energy. You'll be able to put your hands on to the earth and send energy to the earth. You'll be able to put your hands on your pets and send healing energy to your pets. You'll become a conduit, a channel of this healing energy. And remember, we call it Mother Mary, but it's the energy of unconditional love. You will be in the frequency of unconditional love for two months from the beginning of May until the end of June. And while you're working with Mother Mary, the great magnifier, and you're learning how to pray to magnify your energy, you're going to be learning simple ways to activate that energy on demand so you can learn how to do that. So you got it when you need it. This is a gift and a skill that you will have for the rest of your life. It doesn't go away. And if you are someone who already is a Reiki person or whatever it is, this will take all your beautiful gifts and it will plug them in for you, as I said, because we're going to be combining the power of prayer with the power of unconditional love, with the power of healing energy in the month of miracles with this amazing energy of the sun continuing to expand and magnify what you're focused on. So as you're focused on attuning yourself to unconditional love, as you're focused on being a channel of healing energy, as you're focused on your own healing energy, all of this will be magnified by the earth and the sun. All of it will be magnified. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? I really hope that you, if, if you're called to it, if you're not called to it, that's fine. I still want you to prepare for your month of miracles. But if you feel called to work with me, work with Mother Mary, unconditional love, month of miracles, learning how to work with your own healing frequency that you already have, it gets activated. When I say activated, what does that mean? It means it's activated in your, in your awareness. It's already there, but you might not know it's there. And what people have told me is, you know, I used to do healing energy, but not like this. This was amazing. I was able to, you know, pray for my friend and she actually felt me praying for her. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what it's like. It's a tangible thing. And this would be a beautiful gift to give to yourself. If you want to help the planet right now, planet's in a lot of distress, whether you're concerned about the climate change or the wars that are going on or whatever it is, it's all of it, right? How can you be a bright light on the planet? How can you be a conduit for peace? How can you be a conduit for healing? This is the program that I offer that helps you do that. If you want to do it, I invite you to go to francisfaden.com forward slash healing energy activation. You can all just also just go on my, my um, homepage and there is a little box there where you can click to get more information. If you register before the end of the month, you do get the um, early registration discount, which I would love for you to get that as well. But the most important thing I'm wanting you to really remember is all of this is coinciding with the new moon and the eclipse and the month of miracles, which makes this one of the most powerful times. And every time I've offered this, it's different depending upon who is in the program. So if you're in the program, Mother Mary knows that, and she's going to tell me different things to do in the program than I've done before because you're there. And she knows what you need. I don't know what you need, but she knows what you need. She knows what you need to be in an, in an alignment. She knows what you need to have a breakthrough. 
She knows what you need to have a healing. This is why I invite people who have already taken it. I invite them to come back and to take it again because it'll be a completely different program energetically because you're in a different, completely different place. The attunement and the activation is always going to stay with you. You don't have to get it activated again, but you come back again. And what happens? It's like, it's like a rebirth and a renewal. So my friend, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to let your friends know about the month of miracles and how to prepare for it, please feel free to share it with your friends, with your family, with your clients, with your colleagues. You can share it on social media, whatever works for you. I'd love to hear your intentions. If you want to share that, leave a comment below. And if you do feel called to join me, I'd love to have you join me. It would be so fun to get to spend this magical time with you and with me and with Mother Mary in the energy of unconditional love. What a miracle that would be. So awesome. Well, remember, my friend, that the key to magnifying your miracles is to know that your miracle is already here. God bless you, my friend. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.